Okay, so this is a tofu and I don't know. It's like a tofu situation. So we have, like I said, I pronounce things wrong. Ebai tamag. I'm pretty sure Ebai is this. It's just like um, shrimp or whatever with rice. Tamago, this is like egg. And this is a crunchy... Cali Amber is like announcing her food like it's a Pokemon. It doesn't matter. I know you're just here to body that shit. I don't even understand why Amber even cares what she eats at this point. Her calorie intake at this point in life is so astronomical to maintain 500 plus pounds daily is insane. Like, I want everybody to realize that Amber is lying most of the time about her food that she's eating. Especially considering that you're not going to weigh... 500 pounds consistently and tell me that you're only eating once or twice a day now nah, i know you're eating like three four five six seven times a day and i know you're ordering out the whole day so yeah amber you know it's really sad because i was watching a video of her recently where she was like 300 pounds and i was looking upon her and i thought damn she looks so small at 350 pounds and really think about that for a second amber looks small at 350 pounds and i always think I've never seen Amber actually below that amount. I think that was like always her default. Like that was just the lowest that she's ever been in terms of her adult life, which is really, really sad because Amber is not an incredibly bad looking person. I think that she could probably she, she could probably be a very, very attractive individual if she just put some work into an effort into actually catering to herself instead of catering to her mouth consistently. She should be actually wanting to lose weight, but I mean, I guess she does want to lose weight, but it's more so like the effort of trying to lose weight is more of the problem. Like the continued effort, the consistency of losing weight is the big problem when it comes to somebody like Amber. So I understand that food is good and we have a whole bunch of opportunities now to eat out and get foods and things such and so forth, but there needs to be some type of limit. California. All right. Damn. Hmm. Dancing for the food, dude. I love that. I love that little like dance. I mean, of course, her arms are like out here because when you're really fat, you're you have like these. I don't know what you want to call this exactly. Like it's not lats. It can't be lats. Lats are behind you on this this the, this muscle right here. But she has extra, I guess, meat, extra fat on the un underarms. So her arms are constantly like this, whereas my arms are like that. You know, because I don't need to. I don't have big giant expended like wings under my thing. So for her, when she does this. It's, it's because her arms are so, like, they're just being held up by the weight of her, her back. I don't, even, I don't even know what that is. I, don't, I have no idea what this is. And one thing I've noticed, too, about Amber is that she has no eyebrows, man. I don't know what happened with her eyebrows. Mm -mm -mm. It's not that good. Mm -hmm. Damn, that double chin is crazy. Having nails while being a mukbanger is, I feel like, counterproductive. Because I know for a fact... When your nails are longer, you get the you get the the amoebas, you get the people underneath your nails, and that's not practical. It's just not. And anybody knows this. If you have dirt under your nails, that's gross. That's fucking nasty. Okay, clean that shit out. Fucking wash your hands. Okay, that's that. Usually, it's how you get them clean. I know that there are there's like the pick thing that you could do under your nails, but if you wash your hands very frequently, you don't actually have the dirt underneath your your hands. And I think it's probably counterproductive. Also, she has a full face of makeup. I don't know if you guys know that. There, this is indeed a full face of makeup. Her face is beat as hell. But, uh, you know, hey, bro. I mean, what is this exactly? How about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? What? Why would you get seven? I guess to fill the plate. In the process of becoming rich and famous, you're doing things that are going to take away value from the soul, right? And it's beautiful that people can make money nowadays from, I guess, eating high denominations of food till literally death. But it's sad because... You're not doing anything of actual worth for your body. It's literally just a detriment. I don't know, man. It, it kind of makes me sad sometimes when I see these people eating the extremely high amounts of calories that they are. And then they, they get rewarded for it. Because, like, why wouldn't you get rewarded for it? There are literally entire people on the internet, groups dedicated to watching big women. It's usually almost always women. Because nobody really wants to see big men eat. I don't even know what you're, like, why the fuck would you want to see a big man eat? That's kind of disgusting. But for women... I guess the like the added benefit of them having a vagina and then maybe whipping it out, even though that's like not plausible most of the time. I don't know. I have no idea what the the idea behind mukbangs are. I've never been interested in them. I don't like watching people eat, but I'm willing to tolerate it for you. Mm. <laughs> the noises too are obviously there because Yeah, the sounds. It's the sounds, dude. It's like, you know when you watch porn, you want you want the sounds. You want to hear that like 
noise, right? And sometimes you want to hear the guy go, oh, yeah, that feels really good. Ho, ho, ho. And the girl go, oh, my God, it's so big. Or whatever. I don't know. Whatever how, whatever you like hearing in, in pornography. And I really, it always makes me so cringed out when I see dudes and they go, oh, yeah, dog. I never say anything when I'm having sex with my girl. That's cringe, bro. You should be saying stuff. That's really boring to just sit there. Can you just, having sex? It's kind of awkward in and of itself. You need to break. You need to break that every once in a while. Like you need to break the ice. You need to make it make it feel more comfortable and stuff like that. It's got to be so awkward to just have a guy on top of you pumping and just looking at you, just blank face, no noise, nothing, dude. That's what are you doing, bro? The noise needs to be. I like noise. I like talking too. I really like talking. But some people are just sitting there, just doing nothing. Oh, and I say that because that's probably the reason why she's making these noises. Like I know that Taco Bell don't taste that good. It's just you know, what is this? Just like basic meat. I mean, if you could even say that probably like really, really over processed meat. I don't even know what this is. Sour cream, maybe mayonnaise. I don't know. But regardless, she's making these noises because that gets the views, you know, hearing a woman go, mm, oh my God, because it's emulating sex noises, of course. Mm. It's not that good. Mm. Mm. It's just sad. I don't even know what she looks like. Whatever you eat is not better than this right here, right now. Mm. Mm, Damn, mm. bro. How often can you do this, though? Like, do you have to keep one up again? That's one thing I want to know, right? It's probably like, because sometimes what happens is when you do a particular form of content, that can only sustain you for a certain portion of time because people are going to, it's like it's like watching a, a sitcom or like a rom-com or like Supernatural. Like the stuff at the beginning is usually very bare bones. It's probably like, you know, down to earth type stuff. But then eventually you gotta go and you gotta go crazy because people are gonna want more and more and more crazy shit. And then eventually, like it's like Supernatural. Spoiler for the show. You know, you start hunting like vampires and werewolves and you're like, this is really cool. And then by the end of the seasons, like by like season six or seven you're literally fighting god himself and you're like what the fuck how does this even happen but that's usually how it happens for like everything right it's like doing porn like a woman just doing porn like beating off right and then guys are going like yeah that's really fucking hot you know i'm gonna send you out this like anal beads go use this anal beads right and they said do the anal beads and then some eventually like after three months of doing that um, some guy's going to send you out like a giant fist and he's going to want to, he's going to want to see you fist yourself. Like, that's just what it is. Like, eventually you're going to have to incorporate really, really crazy things. Is it like that when it comes to mukbangers? I, I'm presuming so. Like, I would, I would not doubt that you start off eating like regular denominations of food. And then eventually you got a body slam, like, I don't know, three, four, 5,000 calories of cake farting on the cake. Maybe you probably got to do a whole bunch of stuff. I don't know. That's just what I presume because it's like. You can only eat this per this particular portion of food for so long before people get bored of it. And then you have to eat some crazy foods. And then maybe you whip out the vagina. I don't know. I don't know. Somebody help me. Damn. Mm. That like. Mm. Damn, bro. Get a napkin. Damn. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh, man. Sometimes. Sometimes I really think that if you're a big man and you've dedicated your life to being a big man, you probably should just go to Victoria's Secret with your girl one time and just get yourself a couple bras. Because if you're living with the big, if your boobs as a man are bigger than your girlfriend's boobs, I think you should just suck it up, okay? Go to Victoria's Secret. Sometimes they got those sales going on. And go get yourself a couple bras, dude. Get yourself fitted. The ladies are really nice ladies, okay? I've talked to them before when I was in the waiting room. You can talk to them. You go, I don't know my size. I need to get sized up. My girlfriend's in there right now. But you know what? I'm thinking that maybe I need to get sized up too. Because guess what? I mean, these things don't need support. I'm probably going to need some support. I mean, You know, my back hurts. I need to hold these things up on my shoulders. Help me out. And they're going to help you. Most definitely going to help you out. You, as a big man... If that's, if that's what you want to do, get a, get a couple bras. That's all I'm going to say. That's right, folks. I'm going to eat this vat of macaroni and cheese. That, man, this is like the dichotomy of content creation for, for men versus women, isn't it? Like, women eat actual food, and then guys just eat tubs of macaroni and cheese out of pots. Like, it's... <laughs> I just... I don't know. Sometimes I think about this, and I'm like, dude, there needs to be a little bit more effort when it comes to... 
stuff like this, right? As men, like we get, like I get it. It's a little bit. It's funny. It's funny, bro. But you're dying, and uh, you know I, I like macaroni and cheese as much as the next guy. But isn't like the whole entire case of macaroni and cheese in the craft? Isn't that like a thousand calories or something like that? Isn't it like twelve hundred calories? Am I lying on that? I, I don't know. But usually people put milk in it. And they usually put a little bit of cheese, too, extra cheese in there. I wouldn't be surprised, dude. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, yeah. Ah. You, do you take a shower after this, you think? Do you think that like, you have to scrub yourself down a little bit because it's just like the thought of what you just did was so incredibly disgusting? Kind of like, you know when you watch pornography sometimes and then you, you get done, you're like, what did I just do, man? That... Oh, bro, I can't believe, I remember one time, right, I was watching this pornography, and there was this woman, and she was like, stepbrother, stepsis shit, and this girl literally had to have been blind or something like that, I have no idea, but this guy, like, she was, she was looking in the fridge for some mayonnaise, and some guy came up behind her and was like, oh, yeah, he got in there, and then she was like, what's going on, like, what is happening, what is, what is I feel something, he's like, don't worry about it, bitch, just keep finding that, just keep finding that mayonnaise. It ain't nothing going on back here. And she's like, oh, okay. And then he's just piping her down. And I'm just thinking like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, what do you mean? Like, what's going on? You didn't think like to look back, like even if you couldn't feel it, which is like crazy because the guy was black. And then she was like, you know, I'm just thinking like, dude, you couldn't just like look back real quick. Like, hey, what? Whoa, whoa, what is going on? Like, you couldn't do that? Nah, you just can't just let this dude slam your shit down real quick. I don't know. Like, I didn't beat off to that, but I know that after I watched it, I was just sitting there like, damn, bro, what the fuck is going on? Like, and I looked in the comment section because it was on Pornhub. And I saw people like, oh, my God, this is so hot. This is exactly what I want. I need this in my life. And sometimes dudes will just post their fucking phone numbers as if, like, the woman post, as if, like, the people posting the video are the women making the content, which is crazy. Like, I don't know what it, what these guys thought. Like, can you imagine being a dude and just posting your phone number in the comment section going like, yeah, this girl's gonna hit me up. Dude, who are you? First of all, you have like a Darth Vader profile picture. What the fuck are you doing? Like, what? And he's like, listen, like, oh, I'm nine inches. I live in, you know, I, I, I live in this place. And it's gonna be, cause meet me here. It's like, bro, what are you talking about? What, what is this thought process you have? I'm gonna watch a woman have sex with a black guy while he while she looks for mayonnaise and then as i'm doing that i'm gonna hope that she like dms me somewhere what are you talking about but sometimes i think that like people have lapses in judgment sometimes and you feel disgusting afterwards and then maybe you probably need to wash yourself off a little bit yeah you know, like he's already got the cheese water on the fucking you see this shit right here i know it's like really low res but this is like some cheese water crap Ooh. mac and cheese damn bro all that of it <laughs> hey, funny as hell, huh, folks? <laughs> Damn. Going for that shit, though. Yeah. The fact that he's eating it off of himself as if he doesn't have an entire pot full of macaroni and cheese is crazy. Like, you couldn't leave that to the end. Like, you know what I'm talking about? Like, you just finish the pot first. And then whatever residue is left on your body afterwards, you can finish that off. You don't need to go for it right now. That's gross, bro. Can you can you wait till the end? Scary movie. Damn, bro. I remember when this dude was popping off, bro. <sighs> Him and Joey's World Tour, bro. Whoo, that shit was serious. It's the Hunted Sandwich. All right, Mr. Hunted Sandwich. It's crazy how some, like, some people can just literally go to fast food places and, like, you remember that one black guy that used to make videos like that? I, I don't know if he's still making videos, but it's always, like, really, really fat guys that just go to fast food places and eat really, like, bad food, but, and they always, they go, oh, I'm testing this to make sure, like, I'm, I'm gonna let you guys know if you should buy this, like, bro, what are you talking about, bro? You're going to Arby's, like, nobody's been to Arby's since, like, I don't even know, like, 1996, like, I don't even think there, I didn't even know there was a restaurant. For Arby's. I didn't even know that. I had no idea, dude. And he, like people go there and they eat the food and they go, I'm doing this for you. Nah, dude, you're not doing it for me. That's crazy. You know you're doing that shit for you. You want to feed your mouth. That's what you want to do. And you're just doing this because you know it's going to get views, which is fine, I guess. But don't try to make it seem like it's my fault. Take some, take some responsibility. And, uh, buttermilk. Buttermilk. Wow. Buttermilk. Buffalo. Damn, bro. That shit looks bad. They couldn't put a solid sandwich together. Why is it dripping like that? Sandwich from Arby's. Let's give it a bite. He looks like a vampire, doesn't he? Like a really obese vampire. Okay, let's go. And you know what's really funny too is like they always do this in the car. 
I don't know about you guys, dude, but if people that have eaten in their cars for like long times, their cars smell like ass, like all the time. Because the grease, the aroma, the environment of that fast food continuously being your car, that shit doesn't go away. That shit literally embeds itself into the car. You're going to need to like Febreze that shit. Like literally take a Febreze, poke the end of the can and throw it into the car and just have it explode in your fucking car. Because this shit is ass. Like I've been into so many people's cars before. I remember one time, dude, I was taking an Uber pool. This was way back. I don't know if you can do Uber pools anymore, but this was before COVID. And I remember, dude, I got in the front seat because the two back seats were already occupied. And I got into the front. And I thought, I think this guy thought that I was going to get in the back, in the middle back seat. But I was like, what the fuck are you talking? No, I'm not getting in the middle back. There's two big people back there. No, bro, I'm not doing that shit. I'm not going to be the middle man in between these two people. That's weird as shit. I'm like sit on some guy's lap. No. But I got into the front seat, right? And as soon as I stepped in the car and I looked in the floor, it was just cups. Just cups of fast food like McDonald's, Burger King, KFC, all that shit on the floor. And I had to literally like shuffle my feet around to like get into the seat, dude. And um, eventually when I did manage to get my feet around and sat down, dude, and closed the door, the aroma was terrible. I would have much rather have like, I don't even know, like Joe Biden bust ass in my mouth would have been way more tolerable than this guy's car scent. It was crazy, bro. And I was like, let me roll down the window. And he's like, oh, no, don't roll down the window. It's cold out. I was like, bro, I don't give a fuck how cold it is, bro. It literally smells like butt cheeks in here. Damn, bro. That's crazy, man. <laughs> Woo. Now let's get some mayonnaise on the other side. That's crazy. That's mayonnaise, huh? Damn, somebody nutted in my burger, dude. So this is really what you can do, huh? Sometimes I think, like, I think it is beautiful that people can do stuff on the internet and make money from it. That's great. Uh, I know that there are a lot of women out there that do make money from, like, selling feet pictures, for instance, and guys beat off to it. I don't think there's any problem with that. Like, I'm not here to judge or not judge, but I'm not here to say it's a bad thing that you make money from selling feet pictures in the same way that this guy's making money from body slamming thousand calorie burgers and shit you know having mayonnaise on the side of his mouth and shit like that go home satisfied i don't know i'm just saying that it's, it's beautiful in a way that this is something that's possible because like think about a hundred years ago um you probably had to suck on a horseshoe to try to get some sustenance but nowadays you can make money from just eating thousands of calories of food from fast food genres and then upload it on the internet and people look at that shit, call you disgusting, but they'll still give you money for it, which is beautiful. I think that's awesome. But sometimes I think, right, like who's who's coming to see this? Because like I can kind of understand when you go to a woman and you're paying money to see her vagina or maybe you're paying money to see her foot or her ankle or something like that or even her to talk to you because like maybe there's a novelty. A lot of dudes don't really have a lot of contact with women in general so it's kind of hard for them to like navigate the realms of conversation with women so they'll pay them in order to get that conversation. It's easier, right? I understand it to a certain degree. Um, at least like women to women have a novelty effect on men. Maybe not to me, because like I think women are just basically the same as as men. Not like that. Like I'm not gay or anything like that. But you understand, like I'm not looking at women as like special specimens. But I know that there are a lot of men that do, and that's cool. If that's what you want to do. If you want to pay a woman for her time, like okay, fine. But like to watch a grown man, you know, a, a 350, 400 pound man sit in his car, body slamming. I don't even know what this is. I I, I have no idea what the genre of food this is. You know, looking like he hasn't slept in like three weeks with mayonnaise on his mouth like who's coming to watch this and going like oh this is what i needed today i needed to watch this indian man body slam that shit this is what i needed in my life this is gonna really set me right for the day like who's watching this shit and going like that man i just want to know uh, i'm obviously there are people watching it i just want to know like why it might be like kind of like because I like watching rom-coms. I like watching things that are really bad sometimes. But it, even the worst rom-coms are like average movies at best. You know, like it's not like it's bad. But I don't know, man. Like somebody let me know. Look at that shit's not even good, bro. They even make you a quality burger. That shit is nasty as fuck. They literally just threw this shit together. This shit's gross as fuck, dude. I would go back. I would be complaining. They're like, wow, my sandwich is literally fucking dripping. Like I, I ordered a sandwich, not some soup, dude. <laughs> Look how much stuff they put. Like, in. what do you do after? Do you have at least like a, a fucking sink in here? Do you go to a public restroom and like wash your hands off, dude? Look how fucking greased up this is. Like, 
the entire purpose of a sandwich, right, is the bread is supposed to be the barrier that separates you from the food. So when you eat the food, you're not getting it all over your hand. That's the entire fucking purpose. And he's fucking failed. This shit is literally all over his fucking hands. You, you failed, bro. You literally failed, man. This, this, this is the broken sandwich. Thing, man. It's crazy. Double chinning it up too, bro. I mean, look at that. Can you imagine somebody walking by and with their family or whatever and seeing this shit like, damn, bro, what the fuck? Like, you gotta tell your kids to look away. Like, don't look at that. Don't look at that guy. He's, he's, he's doing something crazy in the car. Like, you know what I'm talking I would rather, I would rather literally walk by a dude beating off in his car. That would be more appetizing to the eyes to see than a man like this just body slamming. Like, I don't even know what this is. Is this actually Arby's? Is this actually Arby's? Did he actually go to Arby's? Freaking crazy, man. Damn, that is Arby's. Who goes to Arby's? No, I've never even seen somebody eat at Arby's before. Damn, bro. I can, I can believe why this is Arby's, bro. This is the reason why people don't go here, man. Damn, bro. What the fuck happened to you, man? This is like... I gotta suck my thumb. Oh. Oh, man, think about this for a second, dude. He didn't even wash his hands. His hands been on the steering wheels. You know the dude don't wash his steering wheel, dude. That shit's got beat-off blisters on it. That shit's got fucking nut butter. I mean, it, it's probably nothing. It's probably everything on the burger, too. Let's be honest here for a second. But to see somebody licking their fingers, dude, you got enough on the burger, bro. You... Do it. Oh, my God. This is big. Yo, calm down. Just take me out first. Yeah. This, 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 this big. Holy shit. What is that? One, two, three, four. What is this? Five patties? Six patties? Okay, let me get a thumbnail. Damn, I don't know how to hold it. Jesus. Yo, this woman could literally do some porn with that. Like, that's crazy, dude. This so big, I can't even hold it. Damn, this thing is big. Calm down, bro. You kind of... Getting my blood pumping a little bit. How you hold this? Okay, What's your mouth? This is a beast. Okay, I'm gonna get a thumbnail, y'all. Damn, bro. Look at this fucking shot right here. What do you guys think about this shot? Let me know down in the comment section what you think about this shot. This is America right here. This is the American dream. Just a big woman sitting down on her bed, body slamming some BK. I've never seen somebody in BK before. Okay. Mm, good Jesus. I don't even know. All right, you shouldn't eat this, dude. I mean, you're already omega level obese. This shit is this shit is a detriment to you. Okay, let me let me get this together. They they okay, did I'll make it well. See. It looks like. And my fries right here, y'all. Let's try to see how to tackle it. Jesus. That's not four patties, dude. Damn, dude. And they got cheese. If you if you can't get your whole mouth around it, I just kind of think that defeats the purpose of a burger. Like, I understand that you want a big, massive, whatever burger, dude. But, like, I want to be able to put it in my mouth, right? And being a man with a mustache, it's already hard enough. Because if that thing has juices of any kind, it's getting on my mustache, which is really, really not the best, right? People call it the fa the flavor saver, but it, it, it's not optimal to have a mustache and eat foods like this because it does get on your mustache. But if you can't even get it into your mouth, that should be like your cue to not eat it or at least like take a few things out of it, though. You could put take half the patties and put it on another burger and you're good. You couldn't just order two different burgers and have one later. Mm-hmm. Mm. Y'all good by that. Y'all know Burger King got the best burgers now. Dude, nobody said that. Nobody ever said that. I just wish these people would put in a little bit more effort, you know? Like, if you're out here and you're going to be a muckbanger, okay? You need to put in some fucking work, all right, dude? You need to actually come out here, take a bite of the burger and go, mm, it, 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 it got a good consistency. It's got good cheese on it. Yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep. Definitely all, all American cheese. All American cheese. My favorite too at that. It's definitely. You know, if I'm going to be honest with you, is you got to go all the way on that. You know what I'm talking? I'm sick of these mukbangers just biting into the burger, not saying anything about it. I need to know the consistency. I need to know the flavor. I need to know why you bought it. 
I need to know how much, how many bites you can finish it in. Like, I need to know all these pieces of information, dude. I mean, obviously, I'm never going to go and buy whatever the fuck this abomination is. But at least your, like, your heart is in it. I mean, your heart's probably not supposed to be in it. Let's be honest for a second. But it's, it's, it's just too easy for these people to just sit there all day. You could probably get, like, five mukbang videos done in a day, right? Like, if you just sat down, just ordered Uber Eats the whole entire day, and then just had that dude deliver that shit to you, yeah, you can easily get five or six videos all day. Just have that shit on retainer. Just continue to have the video just continuously record all day. Just you body slamming food. Mmm. Yes. It's so good, though. You're not even eating that top bun. Mm. That stuff was good. Barbecue man. sauce on the fries is different. Oh. I had to get one yesterday, y'all. I had to give me a salad yesterday. I'm so away. What about just, like, losing weight? You know, like, wouldn't that be way better for you than this fucking ginormous burger that's not really even that good at all? Like, you know, all they're doing is just throwing the patties on it. It's not actually quality meat. Yeah. Damn, bro. You couldn't just have it on the on the uh, the paper and then dip it? This seems like extra work. Mm. Damn, dude. She's, <laughs> she's got a technique. Oh, my God. Smile fry, y'all. Only? Only a small fry? That is so disrespectful to say I only got a small fry while looking at a four patty burger, dude. Come on. Come on, dude. And what is this? What is this soda right here? Is this a large? You got a large soda? My bad. Is this a, is this is this a full sugar soda? Is it a diet? <sighs> Hungry fat chick, man. Damn, dude. Hungry fat chick is unstoppable when it comes to her food, man. And I think this is from a few years back, but I was recently watching a video of her on stream, right? Um, we do streams on the channel, by the way. Every Not every day, but like usually around 6, you can see me go live. 6 p.m. EST. I saw that she was going on a diet about a year ago of the time this making, right? She was going on like a ketogenic diet or like an all-meat diet or something like that, which I heard a lot of people do have a lot of benefits with. But, I mean, I, it's never something I would try. But for somebody like her, maybe it would be okay. I, I mean, I wouldn't think it would be because she's just so used to eating so many different disgusting foods that, like, if you're just limiting yourself 100% to just one particular type of food, it's probably not going to work too well for you because you've been conditioning yourself for so long eating just disgusting foods. It's going to be difficult to go from, like, everything to, like, 20%. But anyway, for her, she did relapse, and she is no longer, as the time of this making this video— uh, she's no longer on a diet, and if you go on her channel right now, oh, man, dude, there are copious amounts of videos, dude, of her just body slamming. I don't even, I can't even explain the amount of content this woman produces of just fast food. There are so many videos of her body slamming thousands of thousands of calories per video. I mean, look at this. Look at this, bro. She got two burgers. This shit is a double. She got the chili. I, I don't know what this is. The fries and the nuggets. You know each burger is like 500 calories, right? 500, 500, that's 1,000. The chili is usually around 500. I don't know what this is. The fries are usually around 500. The nuggets are around 500. So let's just do it real quick. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Easy. Easy. Easy 2,500 calories. Most people, I don't know how tall she is, but if she's like an average woman height, which is about 5'4", five, 5'3", five, then she probably only realistically needs at most 2000 and this is like counting where you're walking outside and you're doing a lot of activities i don't think she's doing any of that i'm like anytime i've ever watched her eat she's literally out of breath from just eating the food so if she is outside walking it's not that much and so given that information i don't think she needs to eat 2500 calories in one meal in one meal just one, not two, not three, which is somebody's entire day's worth of food, by the way. 2,500 calories is literally most men's entire day's worth of food, and she's doing that in one meal. And this is the reason why she's obese, because she's not just eating this in one meal. She's going to have like three, four times more meals today. But I also want to she, – she does porn too. You know, she does some uh, illicit content, which is fine if that's what you want to do. We know more power to you. But – she said that she does this for porn. Like, you know, this is a this is a this is what her channel is dedicated for. People want to beat off to her, which is, hey, I mean, you know, there are weirder things to beat off to, right? I knew I knew a dude, and he literally would beat off to women um, farting on cakes, which is fine. You know, if you want to watch women farting on cakes, I don't know if necessarily that's worse than watching. Nah, nah. If you want to, I feel like 
if you went to the glory hole and instead of throwing your meat in between the glory hole and instead of sucking the suckle and succotash meat that's coming through to the glory hole, if you just sat there and licked the rim of the glory hole just uh, on the on the glory hole, that would be probably more nutritious than everything you're seeing currently. I don't think I've ever had any of their chicken sandwiches. And they have a huge selection of chicken sandwiches though. Mm. Mm. You know, she's got people in her life that really care about her. You know that? Like people in her life that want to see her succeed, that want to see her live, that want to live, that want to see a happy life from her. And here she is, body slamming Wendy's in the middle of the day, uh, eating easily 2,500 calories, no joke. And I look at this, right? And I think, you know, your ancestors really fought for a long time for, 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 for literally up until this point to see you succeed. And then here you are, I think she's like 50 something years old, body slamming. I mean, I don't know. I, I'm actually surprised she even got to this, this age, if I'm going to be honest with you, um, eating the way that she has for as long as she has, cause she's been doing this now for like 20, at least 20, 30 years. So, and professionally, like she's been eating like this professionally for like at least 20 years, uh, according to her YouTube profile. Mm -hmm. It's wet. Oh, that's good. It's not good. Mm. And I just want to know like who's watching this because like all she doesn't really contribute much in terms of vocals. She just kind of does like the mm, 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 mm. Like over and over again. There's no talking. There's no like story time. There's no, hey guys, let me tell you about my day. There's none of that. It's just, I'm going to eat this sandwich and then I'm going to eat this other sandwich and then I'm going to eat the fries and this and this and this. And that's it. That's the end of the video. There's nothing like, there's no, I don't know, man. Like if that's what you want to do, that's fine. You know, I like things that are asked to like, I like really old video games that don't really like compare anymore to like the games nowadays, but that's usually like nostalgia factor for me. For her, <sighs> For her, dude, I just don't know why people are coming to watch a big woman like this slowly but slowly but surely expedite the lifespan. Seems depressing. Mm. Damn, she really takes big bites, man. Ooh, yum. Mm. And it's plenty spicy. Why does it matter? Mm. But it's not hurting me. Your heart is hurting, though. Dude, you need to... Man, these people need to take a break, bro. You, This is not sustainable activity. And I know that, like, everybody wants to eat really, really disgusting good foods. It's like anything in life. Like, you need to have a limit. Like, everything is okay in moderation. I mean, not everything, obviously. You know what I'm talking about. Like, but anything could be bad as long as if you're doing it too much. Like, one ice cream sandwich is not bad, but 20 ice cream sandwiches is bad. Playing a video game for like one or two hours is fine. Playing a video game for 20 hours straight is terrible. That's disgusting, right? Like there are there are limits to these things. And it only becomes a problem when it becomes a problem. For somebody like her, or in general, if you're obese, that's a problem. That's a problem, dude. You're literally, I'm literally seeing the problem. Mm. Damn. Mm. Licking your fingers is crazy. Oh my God. Just never seen an arm look like this before. I don't even know how this even happens. Like when I look at my arm in comparison to that, I just, I don't know, man. I look at that and I'm like, dude, how does that even happen? Like, where is, where do you get this, right? Where do you get this? How does that happen, man? That's such a unique way of an arm shape, man. I'm not even trying to be mean. It, that looks weird. Ooh. Big bite. Damn. Damn, double biting it. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> oh my lord. That's good. I just want to know like how she cleans up after herself. Like I just want to know like when she when she has household chores, does she cede that to somebody else? Does she live with somebody? Does somebody take care of her? There's no way this woman could take care of herself. I refuse to believe that. It's got to be impossible for this woman to do that. She has to have somebody else in the house. She can. Li she's literally out of breath from just eating. Okay? If you're telling me you're out of breath from just eating, you can't take care of yourself. I don't care what anybody says. It's, Im it's impossible. But anyway, guys, we're going to end the video here. 
If you enjoyed today's video, I appreciate everybody to leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things I'd appreciate tremendously. Um, quick one today. I have a lot of stuff to do. My bad. I know usually I do the hour long videos. Today's only like 35 something minutes. My bad. But um, I hope that this was entertaining enough. I really appreciate you taking the time watching this video with me today. Like I said, we do live streams on the channel. So if you want to like tune in around 6 p.m., um, I'm probably live. Usually I'm live like five days a week usually. So if you want to tune in, you can. Um, anyway. If you like today's video, I'd appreciate if everybody could leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things I'd appreciate. I want to thank everybody that's a member that's subscribed. Thank you so much, everybody that is a member or subscribed. You're beautiful. You're amazing. You're spectacular. I really care for you. You're amazing. If you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in lion, which are majestic creatures in the jungle, the mighty jungle. There's lions there and they are beautiful. And they are majestic. And they're like big cats. They are literally big cats. But you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, guys, um, you're amazing. You're beautiful. You're spectacular. Your money management skills are awesome. I love the way that you contour your skin. I love the way that you drink water. You're really doing a good job when it comes to nutrition and losing weight or gaining weight, whatever you're doing currently at the moment. And I love that you're comparing yourself to yourself every single day. You're a beautiful, amazing specimen. Anyway, if you want to check out my social media, it'll be linked down below in the description. It's just my Instagram, my Twitter, my Discord, and all that stuff. Um, enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Peace.